Hey guys, Brendan here. Today I want to demonstrate a feature of Vital that I have been neglecting to explore for a really long time. Using this feature and the technique that I'm about to show you, we can use Vital's spectral morphing modes, wave morphing modes, filters, and effects to create our own unique custom wavetables. Before we dive in, I want to thank Rocket Powered Sound for sponsoring this video. I'm a strong believer in learning how to design sounds from scratch and making a custom library of your own sounds to use. However, if you're new to sound design or making music as a whole, that can be really daunting. Rocket Powered Sound has a huge selection of high quality sounds and presets that you can try out in your tracks, dissect, and reverse engineer. If you're new to sound design, this is a great first step to take in your journey to discover your own unique sound. And if you're broke and you don't want to spend money, they have free samples, wavetables, and presets that you can check out too. Okay, let's get into it. So the feature that I'm talking about is this option that comes up when you right click on the wavetable display and it says resynthesize preset to wavetable. So what this does is it takes a four second snapshot of the current state of the plugin and turns it into a wavetable. So let me just do like a quick demonstration to show you what I mean. So I've got a saw wave loaded up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a spectral filter on it. So we can just do like a quick filter sweep like that. And then I'm gonna set this LFO to four seconds and link it to the spectral filter frequency. So now we've got a filter sweep that lasts four seconds. And then if I go ahead and right click on here, resynthesize preset to wavetable, and then remove all of the routings and spectral morphing modes that we just added, we now have that spectral filter movement baked into the wavetable. Now, you'll also notice that it kind of shifted the waveform over a little bit. That's because I had this phase randomization set to 100%. If we reload this basic shapes wavetable and do that again, but then set the phase randomization to zero, it'll be centered. Then we turn this off, get rid of the spectral morphing filter. There we go. The idea is that we can use different combinations of spectral morphing modes, wave morphing modes, filters, and effects in Vital to create our own unique custom wavetables. So I'm gonna go ahead and just explore a little bit and try it a few more times and see what we can get out of this. So let's start again from basic shapes. I'm gonna use a saw wave and then I'm going to use the, let's see, I'll try to form it mode. Yeah, cause that's kind of like a sync kind of thing. So we'll set the, we'll set LFO one to that. Maybe adjust the slope a little bit. And then maybe put a comb filter. But we'll put the comb filter going the other way. So we'll make a new LFO, set it to four seconds. Then maybe some distortion. Do another LFO, we'll set this one to same deal, four seconds. Link it to the center frequency of the phaser. Okay, so now we'll go back here, resynthesize preset to wavetable, turn off our filters, get rid of our LFO routings and disable the effects and there we go so then if you go to the wavetable editor and then just click this little save button we'll call this undulate formant comb then go to our wavetable selector here go to user we now have it in our user folder then another thing we can do is take that wavetable that we just created and further mangle it. So again, let's just go ahead and find a spectral morphing mode. Uh, I like this random amplitude one. Basically just randomizes the amplitude of all the harmonics. You just get these like really crazy spectral digital kind of sounds. So let's just link uh, one of these four second LFOs to that, but like maybe reduce the range. Maybe some FM from number two. So basic shapes, take a sine wave, get FM from two. Then maybe some EQ. And maybe some compression. I 
and then we'll go ahead and hit resynthesize again and then then turn off all of our effects disable the spectral morphing wave morphing and get rid of the lfo we now have another wavetable so then we go to the wavetable editor hit save call this undulate random amp harsh and there we go. And then if we wanted, we could further edit this in the wavetable editor. But I think part of the draw of this technique is that we don't even have to touch the wavetable editor. We just get to have fun with these different spectral morphing modes and play around and see what the results are. Sometimes if we get really crazy with the effects, it doesn't quite resynthesize it exactly how it sounded in the preset, but that can yield some cool results too. So let's try it again. We'll use uh, maybe a smear. Maybe we'll use the smear, but we'll do something really crazy this time, like not keep it at the same pitch. So like, for example, we'll attach an LFO to the pitch. Give it something like that. Um, maybe another LFO on the, maybe another LFO taking FM from two and then link that there. Then maybe add some reverb. But maybe we make the reverb increase over time as well. Let's see what that does when we resynthesize it. Turn off the LFOs, turn off the oscillators, and turn off the effects and turn off the spectral morphing, wave morphing. So that one sounded pretty gnarly. If we go to the wavetable editor, maybe we can change the phase style and the blend style and get like a clearer blend. Could use that for something. Uh, so we'll save this, save this as undulate reverb table. Let's do one more, but maybe something a little simpler this time. So basic shapes, start with a sine wave, and then let's just do a simple FM kind of patch. Maybe just something like that. Take that, have the LFO increase over time, no curve and then not do too much. So just like, just like that. Yeah, just that. Resynthesize preset to wavetable, get rid of these, turn off the oscillator. Now we've got that. So this could be made into like, maybe like a nice ambient patch. So let's use a normal LFO set to seconds and then mode will be sync. So it just kind of repeats uh, asynchronously, and then we'll have it be really slow, maybe really subtle, reduce the range there, make it bipolar, so it goes in both directions. Then we could use this to make like a pretty killer ambient preset, I bet. Do another LFO, set to seconds, set to sync mode, maybe attach that one to the fine pitch, bipolar as well and maybe reduce the amount just a touch, throw a ton of reverb on it, maybe reduce that tuning warble kind of thing. Maybe add a phaser.
If you're getting bored with your current selection of wavetables, I highly recommend exploring this technique to create your own. Like I said earlier, I think one of the most important things we can do is build our own custom library of sounds and tools to use to create music, and wavetables can be one very important part of that. That's all I've got for now, so I hope you found this useful, inspiring, and informative, and go make some music. Music